In this video, I'm going to make a wall-mounted hunting trophy of a dinosaur. Egyptian style, of course. I've been after a toy dinosaur that I can behead for quite a while. And I finally found one at this fantastic attraction down in Wells called Wookie Hole. So this little critter from their gift shop is the ideal size. We've just got to decide what angle we're going to cut the head to make it look good when it's mounted. Viewer discretion advised. Although dealt with in a humane way according to RSP CPD guidelines, the following contained scenes some plastic dinosaur admirers may find disturbing. This fella is a Triceratops. And interestingly enough, despite how mean he looks, they were a uh, plant eaters, they were herbivores. The big horns were for defense against its natural predator, which was Tyrannosaurus rex, as they lived in the same time period. To make his mounting shield, I'm using some offcuts of my faux wood effect, which I'll put the link in the top corner there so you can see how that's made. So, I've cut a shield shape out of a piece of paper that'll fit on the bit of faux scrap that we've got. And I'm just going to put the dinosaur on to check the look of that, see if that looks okay. And yep, yeah, I think that looks really good. So now let's uh, let's cut out the faux wood to that shape. And we'll stick those together with a bit of wood glue. I'm using Evo stick stronger than the wood itself, despite it being paper. I'm being careful to make sure the glue doesn't seep outside the edge, as it won't look very attractive when we paint the shield later. Making sure we've got a gap at the top and round the edges. I'm now scribing around the edge of my shield about the thickness of the lead in the pencil to give me that little lip for the next layer down. And with much care and patience, I shall cut the next shield out. There we go. That's looking quite good. I think I'll just get a um, about a 240 grit sandpaper just to uh, rub off those little tatty bits of paper edging. And finally, the last layer. We'll just line that up and hopefully there's enough edge to give us another little lip. And once again, we'll score with a pencil around the edge. Uh, the pressing quite hard because the indent into the paper will actually help uh, as a guide for the knife. Carefully along the top. Right, we're about to start painting, so we'll give that a dusting off after it's had its sand. Always a good idea to have some makeup brushes on hand, by the way, for this kind of work. But before we do, Let's just get our head in and put it in place for an initial judgment. Yeah, that's looking quite good. So, we're going to paint some stain along the edge where you can see the white paper. 
I'm using a mahogany silk stain, as it seems to be most shields are made out of mahogany. After letting that dry, we'll give it a, a sanding before we add the next layer of varnish, which I'm going to use an antique pine over the top of that. Okay, there's the shield all done. We can now move on to the dinosaur's head. I'm quite taken by the black and gold designs that were found in Tutankhamun's tomb. I think that'll bring an interesting characteristic to this piece. So to do that, I'm going to start with a coat of this uh, gold metallic finish. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to use antique pine varnish to see if it'll accentuate all the crevices but still retain that gold effect. I gotta say, I'm really happy with how that's come out. So let's move on to uh, doing the black, which will be the horns and um, any protuberances. And finally, to top it all, I'm going to use a clear gloss varnish over everything. And there he is, ready to be mounted. So we'll put him in place, just line him up, and get him ready to be glued. I'm using Yuhu all-purpose adhesive. Main reason is it's quite a gloopy gel, and it takes about half an hour or so to set. So it gives me a bit of a bit of wiggle time, and the gloopiness means it won't it won't run out and be seen on the shield if I make a mistake. Gently does it. Give like you minor tweaks here and there, just so we get this in exactly the right position we want. And there we have it, an Egyptian-style dino head trophy. So there's nothing left to do but mount it on the wall.